Hello, my beautiful beauties, my wonderful lovelies. A pleasant morning to you, or gah, afternoon to you. All right, beautiful people. You know, normally when I get up in the mornings, I try to do a routine of thanking the best being ever for waking me up. And, you know, praising him, praying to him, asking him to make me better every day. You know, offer up my thanks and praise and uh, requests, you know, and all the different want the things that I need to do with God every morning. I try to do that before I do anything else. But, you know, sometimes with bad brook, I'm the phone, 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 phone. It's like we feel it is a must. And we, we, we indulge in it too much, but we must indulge in God too much, beyond too much. We are going to say too many. <laughs> yes, I'm serious though. Beautiful people. Nevertheless, I was scrolling on Twitter and I saw a clipping with Amelia Milk Sewell. And um, Simone had interviewed her and I'd listened to about two minutes of the clipping because I know Twitter can only do some short clips and post it there. Nevertheless, I had, I said, let me go to YouTube in the morning and watch it, you know, before praying. Forgive me, Lord. And I, and I rested in the bed and listened to her keenly. And let me tell you, it brought tears to my eyes, my beautiful Jamaican people, to know that we are still so unforgiving as a people. Not every one of us, you know, I'm talking by and large. We're so unforgiving and corporate Jamaica, no disrespect, but shame on you. You behave as if you are equal to God, as if you're blemish free and flawless free. And I don't want anybody to tell me about how it destroys the image of the company and so on. We're all flawed. So that alone should, should be an um, indicator that we are destroying the image. We're all flawed. When we go into our own personal and private life, and some of the things that we have said to other people and done to other people, it, it already flaws and creates some sort of blemish to, the, to every single entity in the world because of the fact that we're all, we were all born in sin and shaped in iniquity. When the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the scribes threw out the woman who was caught in the act of adultery, you know, and maybe all one of them too who was in there with her or, her or who used to be involved with her sexually was a part of throwing, wanting to throw the stones. And Jesus wrote what he wrote in the sand and said, and then he looked up at them and said, all right, since you're without the flaws and the sin, since you're like me, blemish free, you can go ahead and stone her. You're all right, because we're still on the mosaic law. Please know that Jesus didn't die as yet to bring grace. He was introducing himself and letting us know what it is that he's going to be doing. So we still, you know, the men were still um, sacrificing and doing all of that because he had not died as yet and to be buried and resurrected, right? So since you're without sin, throw the stone. Go ahead and do that. And nobody, and they said from the eldest to the youngest, walked away. 16 years when that situation had happened, she said it happened in 2004, four years later, because their phones got lost, her and her boyfriend. And then, you know, whoever got the information and spread it and destroyed or almost destroyed her life. And you're still holding her hostage, still holding her accountable after so many years, inching very close to 20 years. My God, corporate Jamaica, don't you people have families? Do you not have children? Are you aware that it, something like this can happen to anybody? Many of you, it probably has, but you have the wherewithal, you have the monies, you have the clout, you have the fame, so you're able to get these things thrown out before it gets to the public. Okay, hers got to the public. So be it. None of us are perfect. Not one of us. And they still hold the girl hostage. When I felt it in the end, and I'm going to the end before I go back to the middle, to the beginning. When she said, gosh, I really just want to go back to that public life because I like to entertain people. You know? When she, would, she was one of the talk show hosts, she said, you know, and it broke my heart when she said, right at the cusp of her getting her own office at both major TV um, stations. And then this just came and threw it throughout everything. Had to live in her car for six months. Neighbors had to help her in terms of taking a shower, using the toilet and the basin and all of that. 
She had to send her son to her grandmother. Her mother probably based on, and I want to say this to you, Milk. You see, I want you to understand and just, you know, really forgive your mom. They were grown up in, and she looks like she's from the baby boomer years. And she was grown up in, a, in an era where everything and nothing was embarrassing and humiliating. And if things like these come out, they, they only know, they don't know how to really deal with it in a comprehensive fashion in the most healthy way they only know how to either shun you or not speak about it because everything was tabooed as i say to some friends of mine i grew up in a house where my mother and i we don't even want to my mother didn't even want to use the word love and sex when i was dating the particular guy he would sit on one chair and i sit on another i never hold i never held his hand i never kissed him in front of my mother never that's the era i grew up in and much more you're much you know even more so your mom and, but your mom loves you. When when um Simone got a clipping of her, she she spoke so well of you and she looks so nice. And you know, your cousins and your brother and your son, they love you. And you know what broke my heart, people? When she said not one female reached out to her, the more one of the most unlikely persons did. Vibes Cartel. Big up to you, Vibes Cartel, for that. Because he put bread in her mouth, not boxed it out. Shaggy as well. Gary Matalon, she mentioned. Not one female in the industry reached out to her. That's awful. Females, when are we going to get it right? Are we going to forever and forever and forever hate on each other? Whether without a cause or even if you feel you have a cause? When are we going to get it right? When are we going to be our biggest supporters? That broke my heart. I didn't even know she was in Jamaica. I thought milk after that saga she just left because she felt so embarrassed. She went to my alma mater. High school I'm talking you know my god corporate Jamaica shame on you you can't forgive the woman it is inching closer to 20 years and she still has her vim vigor vitality she reminds me of him I saw me dramatic to you know people not because it's in my post just sit down and seemingly calm and I'm a very dramatic very 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 I'm ever very loud po thundering voice when I sing and when I'm speaking you know, but I just don't want to sometimes take away from the message. So I try to just keep it easy. But if you see me, I sing and perform. Me, I go give a piece of performance. I know how she feels when you want to do a particular thing that you're called to do and people are holding you hostage on mistakes that you would have made. She was young. And I'm not saying because you're young and you're fool. You're foolish, sorry. I don't want to use the word fool or you don't know better. Young but no no hurricane, as my mother would say. You could have bright like what? Sometimes emotional intelligence takes time to grow. Go and read it in the Bible. It says wisdom comes with age. So therefore it tells you that sometimes as a young person we'll act unwise. I've done many unwise things. Young, fairly young and so on. I'll know when we be get bigger now. Me still some fool fool something. Much, much more. Come on corporate Jamaica. Shame on your man. That's, we're too unforgiving as a people. We're way, way too unforgiving. We can let it go. This is crazy. I can hardly believe what I listened to her, um, basically giving her testimony. But big up to you, um, Milk, Amelia Milk Sewell. I pray God's richest, choicest, finest, wisest, highest, and best upon you and the lives of your family. May God take you from glory to glory, from strength to strength. I was proud when I heard you say it, said that, you know, you prayed to God. You and God had a conversation about this, dealt with it. I was very, very moved. That's a move to go, God. Um, I mean, Amelia. God, you always should put God first, you know. And um, I know God is going to blow your mind you know when the scripture says above what you could ever ask think or imagine that is how god is going to bless you he's going to bless you beyond what you even thought that you would have done had you gotten the um, opportunity to have your own office and so on with the two major tv companies he's going to bless you just continue to pray continue to thank him continue to do good and just do your best to put that behind you none of us are perfect not one of us nobody should be even casting aspersions throwing any stones any it's listen to me you have paid your dues as donna hope said you have so i want you to just lift your palate and look to the hills from whence comes your cometh your help because your help comes from god milk you're gonna do well my darling stay blessed stay sweet 
Guys, follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this message.